face the savage. What's going on guys? It is your boy TechOrDotchit and today what I have for you guys is some Battlefield 4 gameplay. This was requested by a subscriber of mine so hopefully you are watching this and hopefully you will enjoy. Now, um, this is some Battlefield 4 gameplay recorded on the PlayStation 4 so as you guys notice the graphics are pretty amazing and I really like it. Now today I have a topic to talk about with you guys. It's gonna be Battlefield 4 vs Call of Duty or Battlefield vs Call of Duty in general. It's gonna be my opinion and I like both games I'm not biased towards one I'm just gonna give my opinion now I believe battlefield is a more realistic shooter and the maps are huge walls explode it's pretty intense but and it, the multiplayer specifically is catered more towards vehicle gameplay rather than one-to-one -one gun action also there is a lot of uh, long-range engagements and that's about it but call of duty is more of an arcade shooter not not arcade i don't mean by like mario kart and all it's just it's just a less realistic because um walls don't explode they're not meant to explode it's supposed to give a fun fast-paced experience to you guys and people who like that play the game there are also kill streak rewards and many goals to go for within the game so that gives you more motivation to play it more and that is why personally i believe call of duty has a winning formula. They have perks, customization options, uh, kill streaks, KEM strikes, uh, challenges to go for, camouflages. I'm pretty sure camouflages are there in Battlefield, but I never noticed them. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think you need to do many challenges to get them. But in Call of Duty, you, ne you need to get like 50 kills while leaning or 50 kills without attachments. And it just adds a whole new dimension to the game and makes you want to play the game longer and not get bored of it. Um, and Battlefield is more of a team based game where there's a lot of communication, teamwork. Don't get me wrong, Call of Duty has communication and teamwork in the competitive side of it. But if you're playing public matches, personally, I don't think you need much of that. You can just run the show yourself. Now, each game is meant to be different and that is why they have their own fan sets. So like, Call of Duty wants a fast paced action, people who want fast paced action and just an overall entertaining experience with something to go for, people play Call of Duty. If they want a realistic experience like it, exploding walls when a grenade comes near it is, is a sign that how, how realistic this game is and how much work it's put into it to make it like a realistic war and a realistic war game. Um, so I believe that Battlefield and Call of Duty, even though they're both first person shooters, they should be assigned to a different genre, sub-genre within the genre and I don't think they can be comp uh, compared. So that's about it from my opinions, hopefully you guys are enjoying the gameplay in the background. Um, I do pretty well. So it, I think it was in the map Siege of Shanghai and I was playing on the PS4 of course. So this is my opinion about Battlefield vs Call of Duty. Comment down below um, what you guys think of Battlefield vs Call of Duty. Which one is better? Which one do you guys prefer? And comment down below if you haven't, if you have played Battlefield, if you haven't played Battlefield. And I suggest you give it a try. It's a great game to try out and pretty amazing. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't to stay up to date with the latest news. Subscribe for more Call of Duty, Battlefield, Titanfall, any game you want me to play. I'll just play it. Um, for more videos in the future leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video and that's it guys for the video I'm out peace I will put some music in the background for you to for you guys to enjoy the rest of the gameplay peace
hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content. Click the two videos on screen if you haven't checked them out and be sure to use the code TGR for 5% off Cinch Gaming controllers. They're great controllers and I definitely definitely recommend them and they do improve your performance. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.